probably one of the first things we want to talk about is just to make sure you're aware of the requirements for supported members. So for a straight unsupported member, basically you can only have 40 inch length without a support back to a named point. Uh, for a bent member less than 30 degrees, you have up to a 33 inch span that you can have that bend in. If it's longer than 33 inches, you have to have that bend supported back to a named point. And that's one of the things that we caught a lot of teams on because you might have a bend in your firewall between where your side impact member comes in and your roll hoop overhead is. So you need to make sure that, that if you do have that bend, that one, it's less than 30 degrees because that's the maximum allowable bend in that area. And two, if it's less than 30 degrees and over 33 inches, that that bend is braced back to a name point. If that's either on your rear bracing uh, or some other point that you can get to. We'd like to request that people kind of take a look at the lateral cross members and really any two, but specifically those, let's make sure that the material properties are correct in terms of the, they have to be primary. Um, so that's a, a specific thickness and size of the tube. Uh, that was an issue for some teams. The template that defines some of the points in the frame, we really suggest that people make that template, put it in the car. Uh, that's always kind of an issue. That's a real big one as far as like, it sets a lot of the geometry of the car. Issues with helmet clearance, we always have that. And we just have to keep reinforcing that it's, it's any two points on the car. It's not the plane. Many people get confused about that. You take a broomstick and you put it anywhere you can, that's any two points. Find the worst spot, because that's what we're gonna do. And uh, he, you know, Mark was talking about the lateral cross, so uh, the one that we, we probably had the biggest problem with was just the one that goes uh, you know, across above your helmet here. Uh, just make sure that especially you have the 12 inch forward clearance based on that template Mark mentioned. Uh, you know, build one of those. It's really easy to cut one out of some MDF or some plywood. Have it in the shop and you can, uh, you know, just hang it up and have it for future teams to use. But it's a, it's a really valuable resource in building your frame.